So one of the questions that uh, John and I continually ask ourselves is like, what keeps people from taking action? And not just like regular actions, but like the big actions that moves the needle, that makes like a huge difference in people's lives. Uh, like the one action that would change the course. And really when you look at it, like every, like the biggest changes were all, if you really dial it down, were all just a moment, a moment of decision. So then the question for us is like, man, what, what is it that prevents people from making that decision? And what we keep coming back to over and over again that I've learned in my own life is at the core of it is that we feel like we're not enough. We feel like there's something within us that's missing and that feeling of not being enough then translates into this feeling of not being worthy, not being worthy of love, not being worthy of belonging, not being worthy of the, the vision of where I want to live, the, like it's an impossibility. And it's only an impossibility because of the feeling of me not being enough, which spawns this feeling of unworthiness. Uh, it's interesting when I was, uh, I had met my wife at the time, but she was not my wife. And I heard at, that she had broken up with her boyfriend. So like the window opened and the day had come where uh, I saw her and she actually, she came in to practice and uh, I waited in the office uh, and I just sat there for an hour. And I had some information uh, that she was moving in two weeks. And so here I was, like I had kind of like been secretly, not really like stalking in the real way, but like kind of stalking her. I was infatuated with her for a while. I didn't let her know that. Um, but here it was, the moment of decision. And I swear, I struggled for an hour in that moment of self-worthiness. And what came out was like, man, why would she want to be with me? Like, I'm weird. I do yoga. I like, I drink green drinks. I drink kombucha, which is like years and years ago, which was like, it was a little bit, like maybe ahead of the time. Probably not. I know friends that like started doing that shit in the 70s. Um, but, but all of this unworthiness came out. All of this self-doubt came out. All of this, all of the scores of reasons that my mind was telling me I shouldn't do the action. I shouldn't ask her out because I'm not X enough, Y enough, Z enough, and I just fill in the blank. I'm sure you probably had that same experience as when something you're confronted with a decision and all of a sudden the mind jumps in and gives you all the, the, the guilt and all the shame of the reason why you shouldn't do it. And that moment came and like class ended and she bolted out. And I asked myself the question, right now, are you gonna sit here and let this chance pass you by? Or are you gonna get your ass up and go ask her out? And it took courage. I got up. I went and asked her out. It's so funny, so, I had the, so the, the rest of the story is, I called her, I was like, hey, Kristen, come back. And she walked back through the parking lot and uh, after the fact, she was like, I thought you were gonna ask me about my account because I was, I was leaving. And then, but then she said, and then I noticed you were shuffling nervously. And she was like, oh shit, here it comes. And I asked her out, I was like, hey, I heard you broke up and with your so-and-so and I was wondering if you may wanna go have some like lunch sometime. And she said, well, did you hear that I'm also moving in two weeks? And I said, well, then I guess I have two weeks to get to know you. Well, the rest is history. Like, we're married, we have a house together, we have kids. But it all came back to that moment of leaning into the discomfort of the, the lies that your mind is gonna tell you to say you're not enough. You're, here's all the reasons why you shouldn't do it. Here's all the scores of reasons why it's gonna turn out wrong and you're gonna fail and it's, it's gonna, you know, you're gonna be ashamed and you're gonna, like, you're gonna be, uh, uh, like, like kicked out of the circle of belonging and they're just lies. But how do you get to that point? Well, there's a process that we take people through to say like, okay, what is it that you're looking for? What is it that you want to get in your life? Get to that vision and then come back to, we can start doing the things today that will help uh, build the mental muscle, build the spiritual muscle to lean into the discomfort of life to get to where you want to go. And this is what we've learned. This is what we've applied in our lives. And this is what like, fires us up to help other people do. Um, so the core is that you are enough, right? You are worthy of love, you're worthy of belonging, you're worthy of your grandest dreams, and if you don't feel that way, we can help. Uh, so I hope this helps, and uh, thank you. And if you're feeling our message, come join our tribe. You can do that by subscribing to our Yaks Yoga Concepts YouTube channel, liking us on Yaks Yoga Concepts Facebook page, or following us at Yaks Yoga Concepts on Instagram.